everyone. Our topic for today is informational deformations. We will go over five different informational deformations. We will cover why we get them, how to stay away from them, and where to get help if you already have them. Let's first briefly look into the basic model of a person. A human being is bioenergetic information system. What does that mean? Triangle, we all comprise of matter, energy, and information. Analogy with a computer, metal, electricity, and programs. All three aspects must be present and together. Matter relates to a physical body. Energy, or chi, sustains us. And information stored in our subconscious mind governs the functioning of our body and flow of energy. Furthermore, when we are born, each one of us has specific to us matrix of health. This is the information about our absolute health for this lifetime. It includes our physical, psychological, and karmic well-being. Our subconscious mind is the main instrument in determining how healthy we are in each moment. It asks our body, how are you at each moment in time? Our body gives back the information, I am okay, all is normal. In turn, our subconscious mind compares this information with our matrix of health to see if this information is accurate and true. Sometimes the signal from the body is that something is wrong. At that moment, subconscious mind sends help to that part of the body. The matrix of our psychological and karmic well-being visually can be represented like this in a two-dimensional world. Vadim Zeland, who is the author of Transurfing, former quantum physicist who was also involved with computer technologies, described our world as a mirror. We are at the center of that mirror, and the mirror reflects back everything we send there. We send our vibrations into the universe and receive back exactly what we send. When we are born, we are pretty harmonious. We all are filled with kindness, love, respect, have good self-esteem, and our other qualities are all in order. A child is like a sun with all rays open and shining. As we go through life, we encounter negative events. Some of these events lead us to close some of these rays. For example, we witness the fight and stop respecting one or both of the people. We stop sending respect into the universe and we stop receiving it into our life. We can only receive the vibrations we send. The respect goes away from our life. We stop sending kindness and we stop seeing it in our life. Our experience of the world is based on the programs we have in our subconscious mind. We will experience deficiencies in the areas of life where the rays are closed. Can we reopen this race to restore our personal universe? Absolutely, by rewriting the negative programs of our subconscious mind into positive, we will change ourselves, our vibrations. As we change, the world around us will change as well. And now imagine that a mirror of our universe was damaged from the outside by external force and became crooked. When we look into a crooked mirror, our reflection changes. It does not show us as we really are. We said earlier that our universe is a mirror and we are at the center and it reflects back what we send. Now when the mirror is crooked, we send perfect love, confidence, respect, but receive back something different. It is not because we are doing something wrong but because the mirror is bent and no longer able to reflect back accurately the information it receives. It is exactly what happens in case of informational deformations, damage to our mini-universe. Have you ever heard such word as an evil eye, curse, hex, possession, and bond? These are what we refer to when we talk about informational deformations. It doesn't matter what we call it. What matter is that such deformations are real and they do not allow our life to unfold as we desire. We can be doing everything possible to accomplish something in life, but due to a crooked mirror, we cannot receive back what we send into the universe. Now, let's take a closer look at each one of these deformations. 
We will start with an evil eye. In a two-dimensional world, it would look like this. It is the easiest and simplest of all the deformations. In fact, we can cause it ourselves or get it from someone else. Imagine that our universe is a sphere made out of wire. Inside the sphere, there are more wires all connected, forming very complex inner structure. Now imagine that we threw a stone into the sphere, causing it to have a dent. This dent in our sphere is a deformation we call an evil eye. We can get such a deformation anywhere, at any time, and absolutely by chance. We can fix it ourselves using specific prayers and cleansing rituals. The next deformation is a curse. This is what it would look like in a two-dimensional world. A curse is an expressed emotional wish to consciously hurt or harm someone specific. It has exact address of a person, entity, or object where harm is desired. For a person, such address can be a name and a date of birth. For a business, it can be name of a business and location. Imagine, in case of a person, that someone used a slingshot to shoot a stone into the sphere. It is much stronger force than just throwing a stone. And now we have not only a dent, but the wires are torn. In reality, these wires represent our aura. So much greater damage is done to us. The curse can be passed from one generation to another for many generations. It requires a specialist in order to remove it. The next informational deformation is hex. This is what it would look like in a two-dimensional world. Hex is a more serious level of damage to our aura. It is done by specialists serving a dark side, who is using specific algorithm to harm a person. It looks like our aura is torn and there are many external influences. Hex has negative influence on our entire matrix or structure of self. Everything gets deformed. Imagine that in our sphere someone put a fork and started to spin it inside. All the wires that are inside started to bend, damaging the whole structure. Hex can also be passed from one generation to the next and requires a specialist to remove it. The next informational deformation is possession. This is what it would look like in a two-dimensional world. Imagine that our sphere was cut into two halves using a piece of glass and the glass was left inside the sphere. The glass is dividing our matrix into two parts, separating them. Communication between our subconscious mind, which is responsible for health for each cell of our body, and our body on the other side of the glass is severed. Our subconscious mind is reaching the glass and the signal is not able to go beyond the glass, so it cannot get the information from our body on the other side of the glass. And our body cannot get through the glass to communicate to our subconscious mind about the problems it may have. The body begins to have problems on the other side of the glass and cannot get help from our mind to resolve them since our mind is not aware that this is happening. Communication between our body and mind is cut off by the glass. This is one variation of possession. The other version of possession is even worse. It is when the glass is clear, fully see-through. Our subconscious mind is able to get through it and get the information about what is happening with our body on the other side of the glass. But the information that is going back to our mind becomes inaccurate or deformed. Our mind receives not only the information from our body, but also adding to it the information that causes the possession. For example, it can be information related to someone else's illness. And now our mind begins to process that information is so the illness is ours. Our mind cannot differentiate under the circumstance what belongs to us and what belongs to another person. It's read it as if it all belongs to us. So what is possession and how do we get it? This is informational deformation that we cause ourselves. We create it when we connect with someone else's emotions and situations. When we begin to experience low-level vibrations such as anger, 
fear, desperation, aggression, and similar negative emotions belonging to somebody else, we get these deformations. When we connect with people through low-level emotional states, we take this information in as our own. It gets recorded in our cells as ours. Remember, our mind does not know the difference when we are talking or thinking about someone else or ourselves. It thinks all applies to us. For example, when we say, Aunt Jennifer has a cold, your mind takes this information as you got a cold. So we may start experiencing the same illness as another person, live through the same life situations, and experience the same emotions. We are recording in our matrix or structure of self the information pertaining to another person and make it ours. So our, our mind either cannot get through the glass to meet the needs of our body, or it gets through the clear glass and incorporates someone else's information as ours and begins to respond to it. What we can do to prevent it? To stay away from low-level vibration. Use protection when dealing with people and stay harmonious. We can give others support and help without going down to their emotional level, without synchronizing with them. The next informational deformation is bond. This is what it would look like in the two-dimensional world. Bond is something that happens to you. The source of it is outside of you. It can be an entity or several entities like a Gregor. It is autonomous psychic entity which needs certain resources. It attaches itself to a person to get these resources. Examples of resources are vitamins, minerals, emotions, time. This bond can be broken by a specialist. At last but not least variation of informational deformation is when a person has all deformations at once. This is what it would look like. Such person will have difficulties possibly in all areas of life and will need professional help to construct its matrix. When a person has any informational deformation, it needs to be removed to restore a mirror or of our mini-universe. Otherwise, no matter how much the person works on changing themselves and accomplishing things in life, that deformation will distort the original vibration and the person will not get what they send into the universe. The life and world of such person will be disharmonious. In Martin Center, we have a wonderful specialist. Her name is Jana Lerner, and this is her information on the screen. Jana is a born healer who can remove informational deformations and restore your matrix to wholeness. Jana has been working with my family, and I can highly recommend her. If you do not know if you have informational deformations, or you know you have them, it may be helpful for you to contact Jana or another specialist to get your life back into harmony. During Magin seminar, Your Health is in Your Hands, I teach several different ways to protect yourself from negative information reaching you and being recorded within your body, among other things. During the seminar, we create a shield that is incredibly effective for protection for self and your loved ones. Our computers have firewall to protect from unwanted information. But as humans, we are not born with natural firewall. So we are open to all the information existing in the universe, including negative. So during the seminar, we create our personal firewall. We also talk in details about structure of a person, health and karmic matrix, and progression of illness. Information about the upcoming seminar and dates for the seminar presentation will be posted on Healing Within and Magin USA website. Thank you for joining me tonight. Feel free to call me or email me if you have any questions or would like additional information regarding this topic, seminar or services I provide. Have a great evening everybody. Good night.